Huawei's groundbreaking advancements in semiconductor technology have become a focal point in the global tech industry. Despite stringent U.S. sanctions restricting access to critical chip-making equipment, Huawei has successfully developed advanced chips without relying on extreme ultraviolet or EUV lithography machines. This achievement not only underscores the resilience of Huawei, but also highlights the progress of China's broader semiconductor industry. Central to Huawei's recent success is its Kirin 9000S chip, which powers the company's new Mate 60 Pro smartphone. This chip is fabricated using a second-generation 7 nanometers process by Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC. What makes this accomplishment extraordinary is that SMIC relied on deep ultraviolet, or DUV, lithography machines rather than the more advanced EUV technology. EUV machines, operating at an ultra-short wavelength of 13.5 nanometers, are typically considered essential for producing chips smaller than 7 nanometers due to their precision and efficiency. In contrast, DUV technology operates at wavelengths of 193 or 248 nanometers and requires complex techniques like multiple patterning to achieve the desired specifications. This process is both time-intensive and costly, yet Huawei has demonstrated that it is a viable alternative under current geopolitical constraints. The decision to rely on DUV technology instead of EUV has significant implications. Producing 7 nanometers chips using DUV machines involves 3 to 4 exposures to achieve the intricate patterns necessary for advanced chips. This approach increases production costs by an estimated 30 to 50% and lowers yield rates, as the multi-patterning process heightens the risk of defects. Yield rates with DUV can drop as low as 20%, a stark contrast to the higher efficiency achievable with EUV. Yet, even with these challenges, Huawei's success with the Kirin 9000S chip represents a major technological breakthrough, proving that advanced semiconductor manufacturing is possible without access to the most cutting-edge tools. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe for more updates. This milestone is more than a technical achievement. It's a statement of resilience against U.S. sanctions. Huawei's ability to innovate despite being cut off from leading suppliers like TSMC demonstrates its adaptability and determination. Before sanctions, Huawei relied heavily on TSMC for its advanced chips. Losing this partnership created a massive gap in its supply chain, forcing Huawei to turn to domestic solutions like SMIC. While SMIC's technology lags behind leading foundries by several years, its collaboration with Huawei has enabled the production of chips that many believed were out of reach under current restrictions. Geopolitically, this development is monumental. U.S. export controls were designed to curb China's technological ascent, particularly in critical sectors like semiconductors. Huawei's breakthrough challenges this narrative, showcasing China's capacity to advance its technological capabilities independently. The launch of the Mate 60 Pro, equipped with the Kirin 9000S, has not only surprised analysts but also fueled a sense of national pride within China. For many, it's a clear indication that U.S. sanctions, while impactful, are not insurmountable. Huawei's advancements also carry implications for the global semiconductor industry. By successfully producing 7 nanometers chips domestically, Huawei and SMIC are narrowing the technological gap with industry leaders like TSMC and Samsung. While these global giants still maintain a significant lead, particularly with their 3 nanometers and 5 nanometers processes, Huawei's progress suggests that the playing field may become more competitive in the years to come. Reports indicate that Huawei is already exploring the feasibility of producing 5 nanometers chips using similar DUV technology. Although achieving nodes smaller than 5 nanometers without EUV remains a formidable challenge, the groundwork laid by the Kirin 9000S chip offers a glimpse into what might be possible. Investments in research and development are central to Huawei's strategy. The company is building a massive R&D complex in Shanghai, focusing on advancing its chip-making capabilities. This facility aims to develop indigenous lithography machines and other essential semiconductor technologies employing thousands of engineers with experience from leading global suppliers. Additionally, Huawei has ramped up efforts to recruit top talent from companies like TSMC and Intel, further bolstering its expertise in chip design and manufacturing.
Patents and innovations are another cornerstone of Huawei's approach. The company, along with its partners, has filed patents for techniques like self-aligned quadruple patterning, or SAQP. This advanced method could enable the production of smaller nodes without requiring EUV lithography. Such innovations not only enhance Huawei's technical capabilities, but also position the company as a leader in overcoming industry-wide challenges. Despite these advancements, Huawei faces significant hurdles. The reliance on DUV technology comes with inherent limitations, particularly in terms of scalability and efficiency. Achieving mass production of advanced chips is complicated by the high costs and lower yields associated with multi-patterning processes. Additionally, the geopolitical landscape remains fraught with uncertainty. U.S. sanctions continue to restrict access to critical technologies, and the prospect of further restrictions looms large. This regulatory environment complicates long-term planning and forces Huawei to navigate an increasingly complex global supply chain. Economic viability is another pressing concern. Producing advanced chips domestically is significantly more expensive than sourcing them from established foundries like TSMC. Higher production costs may affect Huawei's pricing strategy, potentially making its products less competitive in international markets. Moreover, innovation stagnation poses a risk. While Huawei's recent breakthroughs are impressive, the company has struggled to introduce new baseband cards and advanced products since 2020, raising questions about its ability to maintain a competitive edge in fast-evolving sectors like 5G and artificial intelligence. SMIC's role in Huawei's success cannot be overstated. As China's leading semiconductor foundry, SMIC has been instrumental in fabricating the Kirin 9000S chip using its second-generation 7 nanometers process. This partnership exemplifies a broader strategy of fostering domestic collaboration to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. However, SMIC itself faces significant challenges, including technological gaps with leading global foundries and the logistical complexities of scaling production under sanctions. The collaboration between Huawei and SMIC, while groundbreaking, is a testament to the necessity of innovation in the face of adversity. Looking ahead, Huawei's trajectory will depend on its ability to address these challenges while capitalizing on its recent achievements. Analysts suggest that the company's efforts to develop indigenous chipmaking equipment and foster domestic talent could yield significant dividends in the long run. However, the road ahead is far from easy. The global semiconductor industry is fiercely competitive, and the geopolitical stakes are higher than ever. Huawei's advancements in semiconductor manufacturing are nothing short of remarkable. By producing the Kirin 9000S chip without access to EUV lithography, Huawei has defied expectations and demonstrated the potential of China's semiconductor industry. This achievement is a testament to innovation, resilience, and strategic planning in the face of unprecedented challenges. While significant hurdles remain, Huawei's progress signals a shift in the global semiconductor landscape, one that could reshape the industry for years to come. If you found this video informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on technology. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.